Checking back in with the women's basketball team this week, I'm here with freshmen Ashley Green and Kiki Wilson, two players who have already played their way into the starting lineup 12 games into the season. How's been your adjustment to the college basketball game? It's been good at first, you know. It's a lot quicker and everybody's stronger, so that was just a huge change. But the adjustment's going well, and I think we're doing a decent job so far. And then for you? Uh, it was hard because I'm always, like, I'm always the smallest one. But once, like, I started playing, it's really not that bad. Like, the speed, I'm fast enough to keep up with them, so speed and everything's pretty good. But other than that, I think it's going to be a good season. Oh, good. Uh, I've already taken on the Badgers, Michigan State, and then you go down to Baylor and Oklahoma. You know, six games into your freshman season, and here you are making your first start against number one Baylor and Brittany Griner. How was that experience for you? Um, it was, I wasn't expecting it, put it that way, but it was cool just to be able to go out there and play Baylor. I mean, not many people can say they played the number one team in the nation, so it was a good experience. And, you know, starting against them, it's probably the hardest team we'll, I've, I'll start against, you know, so far. So it was good to get that out of the way and then just, you know, go from here on out. So playing this uh, lineup of tough opponents, how do you think that's going to help your team down the, the rest of the way? Um, it definitely makes us better. We have to learn how to play like harder teams and come as one when like times get hard. So playing better teams at the beginning of the season helps us for conference. Uh, you became just the 12th freshman to ever start the season opener in program history. I mean, if, did you feel pressure like that coming in, or was it just another game for you? Um, really, like, I was nervous at first, but, like, once the tip went up, it was just another game. So, I don't know, it was just fun to be out there again. Six games into your freshman season, your first six games coming off the bench, Emily DeCore gets hurt. You move into the starting lineup, averaging close to 11 points and seven rebounds as a starter. How are you able to make that adjustment so quickly and, and uh, get into the starting lineup such such a quick pace as a freshman? Um, I mean, just playing basketball, not worrying about, you know, that you're just a freshman, just go out there and play. I think both of us just like the game so much that we're not really thinking, oh, we're the youngest out there. We're just doing our best and doing what our role is, I guess. Next question for you. Struggled a bit from the free throw line earlier this season, but then in the last three games, you go 10 for 10 at one point from the line. What what was the secret? I honestly don't know all that. <laughs> I just, it just started falling for me, I guess. It was hard, like, just keep missing them and missing them and knowing, like, you're a good free throw shooter, like, you practice them and you're making them and then all of a sudden you're getting the game time, is you're missing them. It's frustrating, but once I started making it, it felt good. God, I got me back in the flow of my free throws. There you go. I've been told by a couple of people that you don't play like you're a freshman. What do you, how do you respond to those type of, of critiques? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I guess I'm just... Playing the way I, want, you know, I hope I can play. I don't know. I've never really thought of is there a certain way a freshman should play. I mean, just play basketball is the way I'm thinking it. Big game upcoming this weekend. Take on Green Bay from a big crowd. Game on TV. You know, what's your team's? What's your approach and the team's approach heading into the big game? Um, I think we're getting ready. I mean, we know they're a good team. You know, they they have a lot of pressure and they're good. You know, they're ranked for a reason. But I think if we just stick to the game plan and, you know, play together, we can, you know, give them a run for their money. Anything you'd like to add on that for the Green Bay game? Um, we just got to have defense and rebound, and then, you know, we can beat them. I mean, a freshman, we saw on film, like, they're not, they're not unbeatable. Big we can beat them. Underneath. So if we Big play Wilson our team basketball, we can roll. come out and do our best, get a win. So a couple months into your freshman season, give me your highlight so far and your funniest moment so far. And remember... We're on video, so you got to keep it clean. <laughs> um, I don't even know. Highlight? I guess, you know, coming back from the Toledo game, that was a highlight for all of us just to get that win and know that we can play with a good team. And then funniest moment? I don't know. Anything with jazz, probably. <laughs> I mean, if you, anything jazz does is probably the funny moment. So. <laughs> and then for you? Uh, highlight? Whew, that's hard. I mean... I guess beating, like, coming back home after losing so many games, coming back and getting two Ws in a row, that was probably the highlight. Um, the funniest moment probably would be when our team's dancing, I guess. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thanks for your time today, ladies, and good luck this weekend.